Guys, look what just showed up at my door. Here it is, Bambi Lab HTD. Let's unbox it. Come on. Whew. Okay, she's in. Y'all have no idea how excited I am to freaking get this thing up and running. So right on top, we got the Bambi Lab HGD AMS Combo Quick Start Guide. We'd love to see it. And the accessory box. So that's what it looks like on the inside. We got the toolbox. There's some desiccant and some PTFP tubes. Good to see this, finally. The ones mounted on the back on my P1S is basically unusable. And this is pretty cool too. I already bought one of these. I don't use it much, but now I have two. Let's go ahead and open this toolbox. Looks like we've got some Allen keys. Clearing needle for the nozzle, in case you ever have clogs. The lubricant oil, lubricant grease. I much prefer the oil, by the way. Blades, looks like we have cutter blades as well, because the printer has built-in filament cutters. We actually have a camera privacy cover, which is really nice. Pretty strong magnets there. We've got some nozzle blocker replacements as well. Spool holder screws and scraper screws. Very nice. Great packaging so far. Looks like we have an extra nozzle wiper as well. And then a spare nozzle or hot end. This is amazing. I really like that about Bamboo, uh, that they're shipping spare nozzles and stuff with it. If you guys already watched my short, you know that I bought the high flow nozzles, so I'll be using those. Dang, these things are taped in here. Just cut that out. Talk about an experience. It's saying two or more people are needed to carry the printer due to its heavy weight. I don't have two people, so it's just gonna be me. Very, very carefully, you do not wanna cut yourself. And you don't wanna cut the printer either. Go slow. Oh, that just fell off. Okay. Pull that out. Some serious package engineering for this thing. this thing. Very nice. So glass on the side. Nice. That's a beautiful looking screen right there. Okay. Nice like matte black handle. Oh, I thought that was another accessory box. I was about to get excited. Wow this thing is tall. All right y'all let me show you the inside of this new printer. So Check that out. It is a thing of beauty. New USB port, no more SD card. You can see that's the new touchscreen right there. Logo over here. But look at that freaking tool head, it's so beautiful. Dual nozzle system, linear rails, thicker belts with a finer uh, tooth profile, tooth pitch. Um, so, you know, less VFAs. You can see two ports here for each nozzle. But yeah, new wiper system. I'm really excited for that because X1 Carbon and P1S suffered from a lot of oozing and blobbing and you know, not a very good nozzle system. So anyways, let's continue. But check out the new door. Look at that. 180 degree movement almost. Very nice. As the community says, it's Uncle Jesse proof. 
Hopefully no shattering of this glass, but this is a big, nice glass door. I mean, this thing is just screaming quality right now. Also, matte black handle on the door. Let me take a quick look around this thing to make sure that there's no damage from shipping. And I'm not seeing any. Let's get this plastic red loader. God, how am I gonna do this? see any damage anywhere. Looks good, even though the packaging was a little uh, worse for wear. I will say there's like a little bit of gapping down here at the, uh, like where the plastic, the black plastic meets the gray, but it doesn't bother me that much. But overall, the fit and finish looks really, really good. Exactly what you'd expect from Bambi Labs. Check out the new feet. These are the new anti-vibration feet. They look like Little donuts almost. They look like they're really squishy, probably injection molded. Very cool, nice and grippy. So it's on the desk. I mean, it's on my toolbox now and it's not moving around much, but I can see that the machine can move around. It's not as severe as the other anti-vibration feet that they made for the X1 Carbon and P1S's. I can tell you right now, those things, those things wobble like crazy. And honestly, they're really annoying. Okay, so. New AMS inside. There are what looks like four screws right here that I gotta take out. So I'm not gonna use the included Allen keys. I'm gonna use my trusty iFixit screwdriver. Where are my bits? There they are. If you guys don't already have one of these bit drivers, highly recommend. One of the best investments I have made for my business, my shop. I use it all the time. Do you guys also save this hardware? I don't know why, but I always save these plastic screws. I can't say that I've ever <laughs> reused them, but I always save them anyways. Okay, so that is unscrewed. It looks like I also gotta take these screws out. I'll show you guys. So there's a screw right there. It's holding this bracket on and then a screw up there doing the same thing holding the bracket on. That's probably how you take the AMS all the way out. Yeah, so let me do that. Ow. That hurt. Look at that. Came right out and pops right out. Simple, straightforward design like that. And yeah, look at that. This thing is ready to come out. Oh yeah. I cannot tell you how excited I am to not have to freaking take the whole thing apart when filament gets broken off inside of the Bowden tubes. We will be taking a look at this as well. I'm just gonna set that aside for now and continue unpackaging this thing. This monster, the beast. I mean, this freaking build plate is so enormous but I seriously could not be more excited. I think these are set in there maybe to prevent scratches on the plastic or something. No, the tool head's pretty tight, so I'm not gonna try to force that thing to move. Let me just take this bracket out. Okay, so let me show you this really quick. For this bracket, there's a screw here screw there, and there's also two screws back in there. You can see that. Like I said, guys, this is pretty self-explanatory. I will go over the manual just to make sure I did everything properly, but if you've ever owned a Bamboo Lab machine before, you know like how straightforward this is. It's pretty self-explanatory. Okay. Bracket piece out. I dropped this little screw in here, but 
really easy to grab. Man, this bed is also much thicker. Really, really digging that. I like that they've included this LED light bar right here too for status, basically. Very excited about that. Okay, I can see there are screws. Once again, same as X-Men Carbon, there are screws holding the actual plate down. Is there one, two? Yeah. And one right there as well. So take those out. Foam for the camera, chamber camera. Okay, these are pretty tight. I'm gonna use the Allen key actually to help me break that. This one. Wow, that's really snug. Okay, that one's loose, kinda. That one's way better. Oh my god, it's still so tight. It's kind of an awkward spot too because the Allen key doesn't fit in there very well. Okay, got the hard one out of the way. That one was tough. But okay, might want to use this for these. Kind of tough with uh, with the screwdriver. Let me see feel back in there. Where's that screw at? There we go. Okay, well it fits nice on the back too. Of course I'm getting like grease all over my hands. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands really quick. Okay, now that I've washed my hands after getting grease all over, let's continue. I'm gonna find the manual and here it is. I'm gonna read through this thing to make sure I covered all the steps. I really like this door, it's gonna go all the way open. It's nice. So little bamboo handy QR code download. Here's the actual quick start guide. Disclaimer, safety. There's a warranty leaflet. That's kind of cool. I'll have to check that out. And a bunch of bamboo stickers. It's actually kind of sweet. I dig that. Really nice high quality stickers. If you guys like stickers, there's one more reason to buy the HGD. This thing's got an automatic top vent, USB port, touchscreen, we looked at those. Filament buffer, we looked at that. Tool head, we looked at that. Start and stop buttons right here on the top part. There is an there is now an air filter system. The X1 Carbon had one as well, but this thing is heated on the inside, which I am super excited about. Uh, live view camera right there, heat bed, <sighs> yada, yada, yada. This is kind of cool, just giving you a full look of the head. And body, if you guys want to pause the video, you can take a look at that. Okay, here we go. Now we get to the packaging. So we already got past all of that. We got past that, we got past that. We got this guy, we got that, we got that removed. And now it's saying unlock the tool head cut and remove four zip ties, pull the tool head forward toward the front of the printer, then remove foam piece, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. Okay. So let me do that. Let me grab my snips, where are my snips? Gotta go through friggin' every drawer until I come on the last one. Okay, let's cut this. You guys probably wanna see this, maybe. So I gotta remove these zip ties in here. You can see this one's like literally locking it in. Of course, now I'm doing it with one hand, so it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. Take this guy out. Aye, aye, aye. Come on. Out and out. Okay, now, can we drag it forward? Oh yes we can, beautiful. Foam removed. Guys, this thing looks freaking incredible. I cannot, I cannot freaking tell you how excited I am to get this thing running. All right, let's continue. Remove the foam, remove the zip ties. Now it's saying we gotta install the AMS2 Pro. So we gotta put the glass back on. Go ahead and peel these for you guys. As you can see, I'm working with limited space here. So I gotta do what I gotta do. Remove tape and outer packaging of desiccant. So little desiccant packs there. Looks like they want you to put them back here, but there's still there's still space at the front of the AMS. Okay, so they don't fit, which means that the spacing in here is a little bit different. But I'm you know we can always revise our designs. It looks like we can totally fit Desikin up there. We'll just have to redesign them a little bit. 
Anyways, I'm gonna continue this. So let me show you the inside of this guy first. <laughs> so taped on the inside of the AMS is the cable and power cable it looks like, yeah. And the bus cable. And then that's what I was talking about, referring to earlier. Servicing this thing, doing maintenance on it is going to be so much easier. I'm so excited about that. The fact that this thing is heated too is just a game changer. Bus cable, I bought the longer ones so I can have my AMS like on the surface. I don't really like having it on top of the printer. Plus this thing is pretty tall. Like I'm 5'10 and this thing is like as tall as me on top of relatively like medium sized workbench. So having the AMS all the way on the top is not gonna be ideal for me. And this bus cable is actually pretty long. I really hope that I didn't just pay for bus cables for no reason. It looks like I did. I don't think these are any longer. No, they're not. Wow. Okay, well, if you guys were wondering, don't buy the bamboo bus cables. I thought there were longer ones. I bought some extra long ones for the X1 Carbon. Not a big deal. Now I just have extra bus cables for all my MSs that I'm gonna buy, which I definitely will. There we go, finally. Okay, let's get this guy. This is actually the cable for the printer. If you guys are wondering where the cable for your printer is, it is inside the AMS for the AMS combo version. Okay. Man, this thing is big. So let's get you guys in close for that shot. So you can see this is the little safety key taped on the back. This gets plugged in right here. The printer will not operate unless this is plugged in. So interesting. Port for TPU, which is interesting. I'm gonna be doing a lot of TPU printing. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, stay tuned. Here are the two ports for the PTF tube. And then that is the bus cable port, I think. Oh, that's really cool. I don't know if you guys caught that. Up on the top here, there's actually a release button on the backside. Push that button and pull the PTFE tube out from the back without having to open the lid and go on the inside. Love that. So it does specify on the manual that it wants you to use the upper port. Which goes here, it looks like. And yeah, the one that they include is plenty long. So it looks like you can move the AMS down onto the surface without having to buy a longer cable. This is interesting. This is for the spool holder, but it looks kind of crooked. Okay, just sliding it on and then pulling this, I was able to kind of flatten that thing out. I don't want to break it, so. Now it's saying to install the other PTFE tube into the bottom port. Push this guy in. Nice little ball, like swivel joint. Love that. You can see on the inside, little tiny tab. Make sure you line that up with tab on the bottom of the key port and just pushes in just like that. Turn it on for the first time. So cool. Wow. Okay, so I typed in my password for the Wi-Fi. Now it looks like it's gonna pull up a QR code for me to link this to my Bamboo Handy account. So I'll do that. Okay, so now that I did that, it is asking to make sure that you remove the screws, which we did do. Um, and then it's gonna calibrate and I'll go ahead and run all that. Wow. All right, guys, while the printer does its thing and calibrates itself, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. If you enjoyed it, you know, leave a comment below, subscribe, like, there's gonna be more videos coming out. Um, I'm not gonna do a first print in this video, obviously, because I'm ending it here. So if you're interested in seeing first print videos and print quality videos, I'm gonna be doing tons of testing with this machine and it's coming soon. So go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. And uh, this has been Sam from Muxo Makes. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.